Hey everybody, it's going to be part two of the Image Comics. Uh, coming out in February, and like, in the February, some of the stuff is already out. And some of the stuff is coming out. Some of the stuff will probably be coming out in uh, March. Depends on when they got it released. But, um, this is, Image usually just has a lot of different stuff. And something, hopefully something will, you'll look at, you'll like and go, Hey, I gotta get that, I gotta pick that up. So here's Prince of Cats, original graphic novel, trade paperback. Um, coming out February 3rd, so it's out already. And this is Ronald Wimberly's critically acclaimed first work is back in stock with a new printing. Prince of Cats is the B-side to Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, played at an 80s block party in a New York where underground sword dueling blossomed alongside hip-hop, punk, disco, and no wave. It's a deconstruction of Romeo and Juliet's romantic meta-narrative focusing on the mere minor players with Ty Bate at the center. That'd be cool. 152 pages, hip-hop literature. Okay, now we got Spawn Compendium, number one. New edition. That comes out on the 24th of February. 60 bucks. For the first time in full color, it says. Todd McFarlane unleashed his signature creation Spawn in 1992. Wow. In doing so, he created the most successful independent comic book in history. Look at that. Add, a, add in collaborations with industry giants, giants uh, Alan Moore, Frank Miller, Tony Daniel, and Grant Morrison, and Spawn's future as a legend was sealed. Wow. Collected now in full color, McFarlane's hyper-detailed artwork comes to life like never before. We live all the excitement in everyone's favorite anti-hero with his... With this new collection, I've been watching the uh, cartoon on YouTube, but it's pretty good. It's like it's adult for sure, but uh, it, I think it was really good. I wish they would come out with more s stories with him and everything. I'm not sure how many seasons they did of that. Maybe two. I don't know if they went any further. I think it was two seasons, but I'd like to see more of it. And I hopefully they're still working on a movie. He's uh, Todd said he's going to be he's doing something. He's got action figures and everything, so hopefully they're going to finish something pretty soon. You've got Redneck Volume 5, Tall Tales Trade Paperback. Donny Cates is really drawing, writing a lot of stuff. Okay, we got February 24th. This collects uh, Redneck 25 through 30. Let's see. The Bowmans are vampires who have quietly run the local barbecue joint in their small town for years, living off, living off cow's blood. Their peaceful coexistence ends as generations of hate, fear, and bad blood bubble to the surface making it impossible to separate man from monster. Wow. Who is, De who is Demas, the first vampire? How did the human vampire war begin? And just where in the heck did these vampires come from anyway? Join us for Tall Tales to find out. That's cool to be to, cool to, be to find out what he, uh, his take on it. The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 8, Old is the New New. I came out with a vampire story too. I, hopefully I can come up with something and finish it. I've been working on it for years. It's like I stop, you know, you, you create something and you just put it aside and everything. You do something, you put it aside and put it on and pro procrastinate or just you lose interest. And I, I had different ideas. I had stuff written on my computer and stuff in paperwork. So I have to look at it again, maybe bust it out and see what I can do with it. But uh, this is The Wicked and Divine. This came out already on the third. It's a new printing. Modernist Poets godly romantics what really happened during the fall of rome and the lucifer who is who was a medieval nun okay also includes the delights of the let's say wictive christmas annual and the uh comedy special hmm okay now we got the complete witchblade volume two trade paperback that's cool love michael turner artwork Okay, March 31st, this one's coming out. Wow, 696 pages, 30 bucks. So it collects uh, Witchblade 20 through 36, Tales of Witchblade 4 through 8, Witchblade Infinity One Shot, Witchblade Darkness number 1, Darkness Witchblade number 1, and Darkness number 28. Wow. Okay, the saga continues, celebrating the 25th anniversary of Witchblade. In this second absolute collection of that best-selling original series, New York cop Sarah Pizzini falls further down the supernatural rabbit hole of ancient artifacts, Illuminati, 
industrialists, and all manner of occult outlaws. But while the mysterious power of the Witchblade has chosen Sarah as its bearer, she's less convinced of her qualifications. When an opportunity to surrender the gauntlet and live a normal life presents itself, she might just take it. Plus witness the birth of the shared Top Cow universe as the darkness makes its first crossover appearance. Hmm. Okay. Oh, these are cool. Invincible is coming to an Amazon Prime video. I'm glad I got Amazon. I, I can't wait to see this. And now you can binge read every twist in the long-running best-selling superhero series by Robert Kirkman. Cool. All the books and everything. I got like, I have these. I have one and two, I think, and I got the last one. If I remember correctly. One of these last ones here. Because it... Yeah, there, there was 12 of them. I think I have number nine or something like one, somewhere around in here. And I have to try to pick them all up. I've seen them at Half Price Books as well. So I'm going to look at all of them. And then all these smaller trades here. Volume 1 through 25. There's 25 of these. Anyway, I can't wait to see how they handle the story. In the Invincible Universe here. Now we got a sender, number 16. Cool cover. Looks like a null dragon. Okay, Starseed Part 2. Starling's secrets are unveiled as Andy, Effie, and the allies make or fight to make it off Samson alive. Meanwhile, Mother's forces narrow their sights. Now we got Birthright number 46. I can't believe this story is gone. 46 issues. I got to like the first 20 or something like that, maybe a little more. And I stopped collecting it because I was doing, getting a lot of other books from Half Price Books and stuff. But I wish I would have continued this because the story started off really good. I'm, hopefully I can finish it. I've seen stuff with Half Price Books. Maybe I'll pick them up and piece it together. But I like to read the story and then once I'm done with it and everything, sell it or give it away or something like that. This came out February 10th and this sender was February 17th. So this is out already. I've seen this on the shelf if I remember correctly. When he was a child, Mickey Rhodes disappeared. Yep, I remember that. It's a new story arc. Lost in the land of Tyrannus, he grew up into a warrior, grew into a warrior of legend, and waged war against the god king Lore, a war that even ravaged Earth. Now that the war is over, and Mikey is victorious, but no victory is without sacrifice. Wow. Okay, it's a thrilling adventure. Bliss number five. That's a wild cover. February 10th to come out. Let's see. Okay, rock star artist Caitlin Yarsky and Superman. Okay, we got Sean Lewis writing it. They return with the final arc of their critically lauded series. Benton has come face to face with Leith on her home turf where memories are weapons. As Benton is literally tortured by the past, his son travels with the god Hera through the swamps of Feral City looking for the secret that could bring Leith down. Wow. Commanders in Crisis number 5 of 12. This comes out February 10th. Superhero stuff. New story arc. Can Frontier save the Crisis Command after a secret from her past shatters their trust? As her team struggles to find meaning, Vicious attacks mount from new enemies with empathy dead act two of the event that bursts the universe kicks off as frontier faces thunder woman electric inspiration itself okay let's see what we got what else we got here crossover number four that comes out on the 24th donny cates again there's a cover let's see uh kids love chains part four hey kids time for a field trip Journey to the strange land of magical Colorado as our intrepid team of heroes searches for a way to shatter that the dome and express the truth behind the event. Also, man, how about this last issue, right? Crazy. Okay. Is it supposed to be the last issue or not? Hmm. Was it supposed to be just a four-issue series? I don't know. Department of Truth... Number six. I'm hearing this is really good. I probably should pick these up. So this is, comes out on February 24th. It's a thriller horror. 
So we got uh, the Department of Truth. To uncover the deep tangled roots of the, de the Department of Truth, roots that stretch as far back as the Middle Ages. What is the Inquisition? Who are the Illuminati? And what is the truth behind the phantom time hypnosis? Wow. There's a variant cover down there. And you got the main cover there. Wild. I just picked this one up. I have this right now. I love this story, Firepower. I love it. Doing really good. So this came out on the third. I picked this up. Yes. Who or what is the serpent's omen? That's going to be good. I can't wait to read that. Ha ha, I picked up the first and second printing of this, of number one. So I can't wait to keep getting this. This is ha ha number two of six. Comes out on February 17th, so this will be out tomorrow. Okay, Rudolph on the road to Funville. Every boy and girl needs a mama, like a puppy needs a bowl. The Funny Sad Clown series for Funny Sad Clown World continues with a mother-daughter road trip. Wow. Wow. It's pretty wild because you're like, what in the world is going to go on in this? I don't know if they're going to stick with the main guy that was in the first one. Or is it just going to be all different stories talking about different clowns and everything. Like they do do with um, just the other books that they come out with. Like Ice Cream Man and stuff like that. So Homesick Pilots. It says here number three. Wild cover. February 10th. The rest of Homesick Pilots continue their search for Amy through the old James house. But the house doesn't want them to find her, and is now full of very angry, restless spirits. Will they live to cover Blitzkrieg, Bop, another day? Okay. Now we got Ice Cream Man number 24. Wow. I remember when this first came out, I said, I love the first few issues. I'm not sure I haven't collected, I stopped collecting some of these. I'd like to go back and pick them all up, though. Maybe a trade paperback or a hardcover book. Okay, Telethon. We'll be up all night trying to raise three ninety nine to save this guy's life. <laughs> now, what is this? Now, Hollywood News Universal Content Productions (UCP) is developing an Ice Cream Man adaptation. Cool, according to an exclusive scoop from Deadline, it is set to deb debut in twenty twenty one. Hey, cool. Now we got Ink Block number six. Okay, look at that cat. <laughs> It is not what it seems. So it came out February 3rd. It's out now. Desperate to capture, contain, and study the cat, the seeker builds a magical prison to begin her experiments. The cat unravels the fabric of reality anyway. Huh. Okay, we got Kick Butt versus uh, Hit Girl. Number four of five. This looks pretty good. I liked her version of her as I was reading it and everything. So I, I started reading. I'm thinking, how because it was she was put into different situations. I'm like, how in the world is she going to get out of this? And I stopped reading this one, too. But I like to get back and read what's going on, or how, where she went, how she got out of some of the situations she was in. Because it was like in situations where you're like, she's not going to get out of this. Somebody's going to kill her. But the way they write it, she does get out. So here we go with this one. Assassins sent to slaughter, kick. Uh, kick butt get more than they bargain for when they come face to face with a bloodthirsty 12 year old vigilante with a death squad and, and hit girl on her back patience has nowhere to return her, at home her secret life is beginning to unravel okay and she was trying to hide it from her family and everything monsters number 32 I've been picking this up for Janet she loves this my girlfriend she loves this book the artwork's beautiful, too. Okay, this comes out on the 24th. Political intrigue continues as Micah is drawn deeper into the mysteries of the Dusk and Dawn Courts. Nailbiter Returns, number 10. Okay, we got that's the 24th of February as well. Can the Nailbiter let go of any chance he has at happiness and kill his family if it means saving a whole city from turning into a monster like him. What? Witness the horror as nobody returns, races to its shocking conclusion. Okay, Nomen Omen, number 12 of 15. Nice cover. 
Okay, we got a variant down here, cover B. Let's see, we got some um, blacked out uh, words here. As the world falls down, part two. Something here is no more. Something and, and are dead. Plus a radical change of lifestyle for two supporting characters. A shocking revelation about a fan favorite one. And an eye-watering farewell. Yeah, this issue is pretty packed and you don't want to miss it. Post Americana. Wow. Okay. Number three of six. February 3rd, so it's out, science fiction. Carolyn and Mike escape their cannibal nightmare and have taken refuge with friends. Here we learn more about Carolyn's past and the secret history of the president, the bubble, and what happened the day the world ended. Okay. Now we got Rain Like Hammers. A lot of new books coming out. This is number two of five, it says. It comes out on the 24th. Inf infamous criminal brick, bro brick Block makes a desperate crash landing on the artificial palace world of Sky Cradle, where he transfers his mind into the body of a bat-grown butler to remain undetected. In his new butler body, he sets off to save Elle, a young woman who has unknowingly entered a deadly competition for immortality. Sci-fi space butler intrigue. Rat Queens number 25. Got the main cover there. And we got a variant down here. Or is that the um, trade? Hmm. Because usually it says if it's a variant down there, cover A or cover B, but it didn't say it there. Okay, Trapped. It's serious finale here. Trapped and powerless in a mysterious dimension outside of time and space, the Rat Queens finally come face to face with force, with the force that has wrecked utter havoc on their realm, the Void. Herald of Anarchy, or Gatekeeper of Freedom. Answers abound in the thrilling conclusion to the God Dilemma. Alright, now we got Savage Dragon, two different covers for this one, number 257. That's cool, I don't know how Eric does it, but he, he writes his butt off and he draws his butt off. Really cool. Dragon and the Thunder God here. That's cover A here, and then we got cover B, it's kind of like a Marvel Comics group type thing. Cool. February 17th, that was coming out. The Dragon and the Thunder God. The Norse Thunder God Thor returns to exact revenge on Savage Dragon and his unholy offspring. Okay. The Scumbag, number five. I like Rick Remender. I picked up the first issue and I didn't get any more of this. I'm not sure how well it is. I mean, you see it's gone. There's, let's see, we got the first cover there. And we got cover B here. Comes out on the 17th of tomorrow. Jazz Apple Armageddon. Conclusion. Ernie discovers that the world is full of bad people doing bad things. But can he ditch a lifelong apolitical lifestyle and help the good guys win? Or will he continue to be an apathetic, self-serving scumbag? Okay. You'll find out if you buy the book and read it. So we got 7 to Eternity, number 17. Rick Remender again. We got the first... Uh, 10 issues, I think, of this one. I'll have to check and see and see which ones I have. It started off really good, so I don't know uh, if it's a good story or not, but I, like I said, I like Rick Remender. Springs of Zol. Conclusion. The rule, a rule is ended. Series finale. Wow. Comes out on the 10th. That's That was last week. Okay, we got Sp Spawn 315. What in the world's this here? Wow. Cool cover. Comes out on the 17th tomorrow. New story arc. Chain Gang Part 2. A new team, the Chain Gang. What will they last? She Spawn. Gunslinger Spawn. Medieval Spawn. The Reaper. That's cool. Okay, Stillwater. Number 6. There's a cover there. This comes out on the 17th, Horror, End of a Story Arc. The first 
arc of Skybound's newest hit horror series ends here. After last issue's explosive cliffhanger, everyone's least favorite officer, Ted, takes the law into his own hands. Okay. Tartarus number 10. There's a cover there. I guess all this whole series, like 1 through 8 at um, Half Price Books right now. I didn't pick it up because I wasn't sure about it. They got it at half price, so it's like a dollar fifty, a dollar forty nine, or something like that, or maybe two bucks. Let's see: science fiction, action, and adventure. End of a story arc. Threading the infinite, Circa and Hisa must achieve the impossible, getting along to perform a literal miracle, a return to Tartarus. Don't miss this unforgettable second arc finale. Okay, now we got one left here. Or two left. Walking Dead, Deluxe, number eight. I've been picking up every single one of these because I want to see them in color. And I'm going to make sure Janet gets them all. They're really cool. So I, I know i got to buy 192 issues. And I don't know how um, uh, David Finch does it, but he's doing them. I, I like all of his covers. I like Arthur Adams as well. Cover B down here and cover C. Okay, Rick and company's search for shelter leads them to Wiltshire Estates. But not everything within this idyllic gated community is what it seems. This deluxe presentation in stunning full color also features another installment of Cutting Room Floor and the Creator Commentary. So that came out on the 3rd, so that's out. I, I think I picked this one up. What number is that? Number eight. Yeah, I picked it up already. I got it. Number 8. Look at this. The Walking Dead Deluxe, number 9. This comes out on the 17th. Would you look at that? Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. All of that. David Finch. Wow, man. Let me see. Here's variant covers down here. So this one comes out on the 17th. This is tomorrow. i got to make sure. Usually after work, when I on a Wednesday, I just head straight to the uh, Pack Rat Comics, or I'll try to get the Laughing Ogre, depending on what time I get off there. So and I usually stay open a little bit later. But the weather was really bad yesterday. So Half Price Books, when I went there, it was closed. I got there like five, around 5 o'clock, and they, were, they had a sign in the window. They were closed. I'm like, ah, oh, I drove all the way over for nothing. But I didn't go anywhere tonight. I just came straight home because I was tired. I'm like, I'm going to do it tomorrow. But when the comic book store opens up uh, tomorrow, hopefully I'll get there after work. We'll see. Okay, this is the last one here on this one. With a roof over their heads and food in their bellies, Rick and C crew seem to have finally gotten... The opportunity to relax in this op apocalyptic zombie hellhole they call home. But now that their guard is down, disaster strikes, and Rick finds himself in a position no father should ever be. Wow. Okay, that's all the books I'm going to show you for this is the image. That was the end of part two. So, so it was two parts. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to be getting. Because it's like, it's like I said, there's a lot of books. I'm getting all the um, Walking Dead uh, I like to pick up Spawn. I've been getting a few issues here and there. Seven to Eternity, I like to catch up on that one. I haven't done Stillwater or anything like that. And Tartarus, like I said, I saw that at Half Price Books. Savage Dragon looks interesting. I always like superhero stuff. I'm a sucker for that. But then I got different stories and everything. Like, look at Rat Queens. Scumbag, I got the first issue of that. I didn't pick up any more. Um, I got to get this for Janet. Monstrous. Amer Americana, I'm not sure. Steve Scroll, yeah, I like his artwork. And everything. I don't know about Nomen Omen. No Biter. And then we got uh, Kick Ass and Versus Hit Girl. It's not, well, what else? Just say the word and everything. I've been trying to watch certain words I say on the channel. Ink Blot number six. Okay, we got Ice Cream Man, which I love the first few issues of that. Department of Truth. I have to look into this one and see if I get this one. This one for sure. I love Firepower. And I got the first three issues of this one. I got to see. I'm going to make sure I get that one. May as well finish it. Downey Cates is a great writer. And I got to get Ha Ha. I want to make sure I look at the second, look at the second print or the second uh, cover there for cover B. So just all of this birthright, I need to pick that up. Ascender, I got the first issues of Descender, but I didn't pick up Ascender. And all this here, Invincible, I can't wait for that to come out. All these, these are all trade paperbacks and stuff. But it looks like it's going to be really good. So I can't wait to see that. Well, let me know what you guys are going to be getting. If you're excited about this, do you have Amazon Prime? You're going to be watching it and everything? Because, like I said, I've been watching the, uh, the other Kirkman thing um, with the dinosaur. 
and everything because that looks like super dinosaur that looks like that's that was good i've been watching that i like that so that'll be it but thank you very thank you very much for watching let me know what you guys are going to be getting and you guys have a great day and collect the dude is out